Good morning, Paul. I wake up today. Last day I have strong kidney infection, but it doesn't hurt too much. It puts me down to a very deep sleep. And it's kind of like, like a promise that I can fall asleep and drift into the peace and light. So the kidney infection isn't too hurtful. It's like paralyzing my back, making me feverish and terribly sleepy. But it's not too bad. In some way, it's to me like a kind of promise. I was asking God what I meant to leave this dimension. I want to live in peace, in a peaceful sleep, without a sensation. So this kidney infection isn't, it's kind of like a promise of a peaceful sleep forever. One day, I wake up and I ask God again what to do. If you are happily married, I have to pray for you and for your uh, wife in such a case. But why cannot I talk to you for 10 minutes time and confirm you are okay? Just confirm like respectfully, like people to people, like human to human, to confirm in a respectful conversation, to explain this, and why do you let me post your pictures, and make your Facebook channel, you have all passwords, you have all data. I wonder, did you receive it? Some people try to talk to me indirectly. But I have no chance to talk to you for 10 minutes time and know that you are okay. And it's not about personal relation. It's about the very trying to understand. Trying to understand. So I pray, God, tell me what should I do. Tell me what should I do. Maybe he, maybe Paul treated me worst as can be. Maybe Paul treated me worst as, as can be. Wasted my life, my family's good health. Maybe he's just wasted my life only because he didn't have a courage, courage to talk to me face to face. So he was seducing me. Maybe he's wasted my life just like a cruel beast only because he didn't have a courage to stand a conversation with me face to face. But on the other side, I think that maybe he tried his very best. Maybe he's tried to follow his great heart. But he was not permitted to talk to me. for 10 minutes, 15 minutes time face to face to explain what's going on. What's going on? Maybe he takes part in some nasty missions, so he has no chance to talk to me di directly. You know, the federal government, people try to get me in touch and tell me you are happily married. Well, you told me many times you are not going to, because Many people are dying in the missions. But in some, uh, by some bizarre chance, he 
who cannot talk to me for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, honestly, face to face, like people to people. But some strangers try to get me in touch. They don't show, they, you know, they are so disrespectful that they don't even show their face. They try to tell me about you, but they are so very disrespectful and in shame to introduce who they really are. That they don't even show their face and identity. And they want me to believe that they have something to tell about you. Uh, so I wake up. I get this Bible for a moment just to open, you know, uh, open some pages and check. And I ask God. And I ask God what to do. What to do? The answer is pray for him. Pray for him much as you can. Whether he's done something wrong to you, whether he's done something too terrible to bear to you, too cruel to talk about or or he tried his best his best and his very best but he was corrupted by the military intelligence pray for him pray for him pray for him for his dear ones whether he's married or lonely pray for him pray for him for his dear ones, for he, for your family, and follow this light, this light energy, this memory of God's love and energy. Pray for him. Pray for his dear ones and your family. And follow this light, light and peace of God's curve, Jesus Christ looking at all this. That's the answer. So I pray morning and night. The answer when I pray God and open this Bible, what to do, is pray for him, for his dear ones, for your family, and follow this light and this tender, tender, peaceful energy, these memories of the way Jesus Christ cares, these memories of these special spiritual times. That's the answer. It's such a bright day out there. I hope that you don't take part in the most nasty missions like the Delta base. I know that there are there is vari variety of the crea creatures variety. I know that. And we don't have to, we don't need to search for an aliens to understand that there is a variety. It's enough to look at the people, in, in, look at the guys who are responsible for what happens in the world to the children. It doesn't take looking out for a strange looking aliens. It's enough to look at the world, the people. This is variety. 
they are very different from those who cannot kill a little animal and eat it to those who do all possible crimes to the children and the other people the people say so we are the variety of aliens on earth that's what they post we are a variety the answer is Paul to pray for you whatever has happened maybe you've tried only your best but you are corrupted the military people say to me that that the federal government they act like they possess your life that's what I've got to hear and some federal government people they are trying to get in touch with me and tell me they have something to tell me they cannot provide me with 10 minutes talk to me in person that they necessarily have something to tell me acting disrespectfully trying to break me psychologically they have something to tell me they present some federal agents and they have something to tell me they are very disrespectful kind to me since they don't cannot talk to me face to face how can I build my opinion on some disrespectful bubbling of a disrespectful person who who has no courage to show their image and true identity and to talk to me face to face for the answer I get when I have my Sunday prayer time, my endless prayer time, sorry, the answer I get is pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for him. You understand or you do not understand. Pray for him for your, his dear ones, for your family. pray and follow this nice and Jesus Christ memory so I take you for a walk and I pray for you I pray for you more than for my hugs <laughs>